Danielle from Wendell Woodworks. This week I wanted to do something for my girls and they love kitties, so I thought, why not make a cat purse? I intended them to be Easter presents, but as per usual around here, the surprise got spoiled a little early. The first one I made for my youngest and I considered it my practice project. So now of course I need to make one for my seven-year-old and I thought I would walk you along with me in the shop so that you can see how I do it and make one of your own. You can find and print the free template down below in the video description. For this purse, we're gonna need four layers. The purse is gonna open up in the middle and then each side will have a thick scrolled out center and then a thin front piece. On my last purse, I ended up using three quarter inch birch wood for the inside cuts. And then I used quarter inch MDF for the front and the back. And at the end, I ended up using an edge banding. But this time around, I wanna try something different. I'm going to use just a piece of common board pine that I happened to find. And on the back, I'm gonna use just an eighth inch sheet of hardboard. I think with this size, I can actually scroll all four layers at once with the number 12 modified geometry blade. But if you use anything thicker, I would recommend dividing it into two different cuts. So let's cut down these pieces and stack them together and get ready for the cut. After stacking the pieces in order of how they will appear on the purse, I applied my pattern by first applying transfer tape and then spray adhesive to attach the paper to the transfer tape. Doing this will allow me to remove and restick the pattern later on in the project. Woohoo! All right, that went through really nicely. That was a number 12 modified geometry blade. It was a really smooth cut. I was worried because it was my very last one, but um, I didn't need a second one. That went all the way through. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take these bottom three layers off, and then I'm gonna go ahead and drill pilot holes in just the top layer so I can cut out the face features of my cat. While I was drilling my pilot holes, I also decided to add little slots for the straps. The last time, I waited until the end and I actually just drilled holes right through here and then I tied a knot on the back and I did the straps that way. This time I pulled some leather straps out of my craft drawer and I thought I would make little slots just the size of the strap that I can kind of pull through and knot on the inside and try it that way instead. All right, now that I finished my face features, I'm gonna go ahead and peel this off and I'm gonna stick my pattern right back onto my middle two layers. Make sure to remove that back layer. Um, we're just gonna stick it onto the front two layers so that we can drill a hole and cut out this line so we have our inside cuts here. If you didn't have transfer paper and it's too hard to take this pattern off and restick it, you can just go ahead and print off a secondary pattern and then go ahead and just glue it onto the middle. And now we have all four layers to paint or finish as desired and then we'll glue them together. While front and back are drying over here, I'm gonna hop over here and put on my hardware on the inside pieces. So let's see, this is the way that it'll be on the inside. In the hardware, I've got these little hinges I bought from Amazon and for only, I think six or seven dollars, I got enough to make the two purses. So I'll put the link to these in the description below. I'm gonna put two of the little hinges on the bottom here so that it'll open and close. And then I will put the latch up here on the top. So upstairs I've cut two pieces of this leather and if it's helpful to somebody, it was 40 inches. That was the right size for my seven year old daughter. So I'm going to string it through and on the inside, I'll probably just super glue it down and probably take some needle and thread and sew it so it won't come back through that slot. And that's how I'm gonna do the straps. Marcy, guess what I did? What? I was about to put your straps on and I realized I forgot to put the little strap notches in the back. I was supposed to cut that too, and I just forgot. We're just gonna have to mark where that is and take it down to the scroll saw like this. Hi. So we can put the straps through the back. Problem solved. You ready to see it? Well, how perfect that you're wearing your kitty ears. <laughs> it feels so good inside. Do <laughs> All finished, well loved. It was already taken to church this morning. 
I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. You can find more scroll saw projects right over here. Thanks for watching you guys and happy scrolling.